let's talk about the Amazon Fire and not that one, although very reasonably priced. What we're talking about today though is something far more serious. It's also the reason that you may have seen Pray for Amazonia trending on Twitter. Over the last few weeks, fires have been destroying huge parts of the Amazon. And if you didn't know that this was happening, you are not alone. Tons of people tweeting this morning that they were just learning that the Amazon had been burning for weeks. Others pointing out the lack of media coverage around the fire. Some also criticizing Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro for not doing anything to stop the fires. And understand, despite the fact that there has been so little media coverage, these fires are a huge deal. Right now, there are numerous fires in multiple states that are basically burning down the Amazon rainforest totally unchecked. Last week, NASA released satellite images of just a massive smoke layer covering a huge part of the forest, with one NASA researcher telling reporters that the smoke layer spanned about 1.2 million square miles, which I know that's just a huge number, so to give you a little bit of context, that's about one third of the entire United States. The smoke from these fires has also continued to spread, endangering the health of people and animals living in the area, according to local reports, with the smoke getting so bad in some areas that about two weeks ago, the state of Amazonas declared a state of emergency. And just yesterday, people in Sao Paulo, which is all the way on the other side of the country, were sharing pictures of the sky turning black in the middle of the afternoon, which some scientists have attributed to the smoke from the Amazon fires. Now, as far as what started these fires, numerous experts have said that these fires are caused by humans, and we know this for a few reasons. Well, first of all, the Amazon rainforest is comparatively fire resistant because it is so wet and humid. I mean, it is a rainforest after all. And while there are often fires this time of year, they are usually caused by extreme drought. But despite the fact there haven't really been any extreme weather events there that could cause the as many fires, fire outbreaks still rose by 70% this year compared to 2018. And secondly, fire is actually used in the Amazon as an agricultural technique called slash and burn to clear land for planting crops. And notably here, slash and burn is also one of the major techniques used in the Amazon for illegal deforestation. And since Bolsonaro took office back in January, deforestation has rapidly increased. And in fact, according to satellite data from the Brazilian National Institute for Space Research, deforestation in the Amazon increased by around 245% in July of 2019. Right, and that's just from comparing it to last year, July of 2018. And according to The Guardian, that is the same as destroying three football fields worth of forest every minute. That is huge. Now, despite the fact that the data came from satellite images, Bolsonaro has described it as fake news. After the INPE reported those numbers, Bolsonaro fired the head of that agency and told reporters, quote, the numbers, as I understand it, were released with the objective of harming the name of Brazil and its government. But as many others have pointed out, Bolsonaro campaigned on opening the Amazon to resource extraction. And since taking office, he has made it a key component of his economic policy. Until Bolsonaro's election win, protecting the Amazon has been at the core of Brazilian environmental policy for the last two decades. But now, also with the help of powerful lobbyists, he has rolled back environmental protections, ratcheted up access to mining and agriculture by clearing huge sections of forests. Notably, many of the areas that Bolsonaro has opened up to agriculture mining are protected indigenous lands, which Bolsonaro has said are too big for the number of people who live there. According to reports, more than 800,000 indigenous people live in 450 demarcated territories, which cover about 12% of land across the country. Most of those territories territories are in the Amazon region, some are entirely isolated. And reportedly, this strategy has endangered both the indigenous populations and the forest itself, especially as it is widely believed among experts and scientists that protecting indigenous lands is one of the best strategies to conserve forests. And this is especially important for the Amazon because the Amazon basin is absolutely critical to stabilizing the global climate. The entire basin spans about 3 million square miles and it includes 40% of the world's tropical forest, 20% of its freshwater, and it produces 20% of the air we breathe. It also has many keystone ecosystems which are crucial to to global biodiversity, right? The importance of the Amazon really shouldn't be understated. And around 60% of this forest is in Brazil, which is a country where a number of the top officials in the government do not believe that climate change is real and who are convinced that any criticism that Bolsonaro's policies are harming the environment just come from civil society groups and foreign governments that are trying to sabotage the administration. I mean, hell, j just last week, just so you understand the mindset, when asked by a reporter whether Brazil can grow more food and protect the environment at the same time, Bolsonaro responded, it's enough to eat a little less. You talk about environmental Pollution. It's enough to poop every other day. That will be better for the whole world. That is the guy in charge. That is the guy who fired the guy who gave him facts because he felt like those facts were wrong. And understand, this is something that doesn't just affect him and the people who voted him in. And there needs to be more people talking about it and people with more power talking about it. But ultimately, this story is also a showcasing that the people can be drivers. Because the people taken to the internet, they're the reason that I and any other outlet now are covering this. But that's where I'm gonna leave this one and of course pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts here?